recording. Hi, this is Sue Haddon from Greensboro Fitness Center, and today we're going to do a workout that I call Kettlebell Cardio. This is a workout you can use when you're really busy, like around the holidays, that incorporates both your strength exercise and your cardio all in one. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use a 12-pound kettlebell and an upright bike. Recording. We are going to first do 15 repetitions of each kettlebell exercise, and then we will move to the bike and do two minutes of our cardio. We're going to try to up our cardio each time we go to the bike. We'll call it level one, level two, level three, and level four. And all that means to you is level one is very comfortable, level two will be slightly uncomfortable, three would be okay, that's really not fun, and four would be, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this anymore. Those are your levels. Recording. Our first kettlebell exercise is just your basic swing. And it incorporates a lot of core and legs. You're going to try to have a wide stance, slight bend in your knees, generate a little momentum by swinging through your legs and then all the way to the top. The power is coming from the hip thrust and the abs. My arms are basically just going along for the ride. If you have bad shoulders, you may want to only swing up to chest high. Okay, we'll do our 15 reps, then we'll set our kettlebell down correctly, and we'll move right over to the bike. Jump on the bike, and we're going to do level one, which is comfortable ride. Whatever is comfortable for you, it's not the same for everyone. Comfortable ride for two minutes. Second kettlebell exercise is the sumo squat with an upright row. The sumo squat is a wide stance with the toes pointed out and as always good posture. Squat down as low as you can, it's not the same for everyone, keeping your posture good and then as you pull yourself up, lift the kettlebell right up underneath your chin with your elbows leading. That will work your upper back. Slowly lower it, squat, pull. Squat, pull. As soon as you've done your 15 repetitions, set your kettlebell down. Come back over to your bike. Two minutes at level two. And that is your level two. Slightly faster than last time. All right, third exercise is the front lunge with the kettlebell press. We're going to do 15 with the kettlebell on the left side in what's called the rack position, and then we'll switch and do 15 with the kettlebell on the right side. Alternating legs, lunge, press, come back out of your press, and return. Switch legs, lunge, press, nice tight core so you keep your balance, come out of your lunge. If you have a problem with your shoulder, it's perfectly fine to lunge and just hold the kettlebell in the rack position. Come back. Lunge. Come back. After you've done your 15, switch it over to the other side. Back to the rack position. Same move. Lunge. Press with the right arm. Come back. Switching legs. Strong core. Press and return. Remember that you can modify and keep the kettlebell in the lunge, in the rack position if you choose to. Then we're going to set that down, jump right back over here onto our bike, and now we're on level three. We're going to go a little bit faster than last round. Getting uncomfortable. Two minutes. All right, next exercise is called the Russian twist. Notice that I'm holding the kettlebell in the reverse grip position. The bell is now up as opposed to down as it has been in the others. Okay, Sitting up nice and tall 
We're going to reach around, touch, and touch. That will be one repetition. Touch and touch. Now notice I have my heels on the ground. If you feel strong in the abs, you want to pick your feet up off the floor and make the same move. Making sure that you try to keep your back flat and your core tight. And if your feet move or if you get a little bit off balance, don't worry about it. As long as you keep them up off the floor, you're in good shape. And if it gets too tough on your back, go ahead and put those heels back down on the floor and continue. Okay? So we do our 15, and then we're going to jump right back up. And now we're on level 4 on this bike, which means we've got to giddy up. Two minutes, long time. Work hard. Okay, so now you have finished all four kettlebell exercises and all four levels of your cardio. And if you're in a hurry or you feel like that's enough, that can be the end of your workout. If you feel like you need a little bit more, a little bit more challenge, you can do this workout in reverse now. So you would start with level four cardio and then back to the previous kettlebell exercise and then work your way back down until you end up with the kettlebell swing, which is our first exercise. Once you've gotten through this twice, I think that's going to do the trick for you. And you've gotten your cardio and your strength all in one, and you should be done for the day. Thanks so much for watching today, and just remind yourself when you come in to give it a try to be sure and choose the proper kettlebell weight for you, or if you prefer, you may use a dumbbell. And be sure that your bike or whichever piece of cardio you choose to use is set in the proper position. Have fun.